Well, we got an O3 Safari van in here having transmission trouble. Got it out. Gonna take to eat. It ain't got but second gear. It takes off in second gear. You got reverse and second, nothing else. So I done pulled the pan all off of it. Got it tore apart and what I found on YouTube and other websites they call this a pressure manifold and they're saying well I'm hoping that's the problem I don't know if y'all can see there's a yeah, the camera ain't gonna focus. There's a split right in there in that O ring. So I'm hoping that's gonna be the trouble right there. So I done got a new one. I'll show you inside the pan. I haven't wiped this pan out or nothing. That's the way it come out. Nothing bad. That's typical. Pan looks good. I don't think there's no internal damage. I done got my new piece in. I'm fixing to put that in. Got a new filtering fluid. So, let me start putting this back together. And I'll turn y'all back on. Ah, hit the camera. Let me get everything wiped off good. Big long bolts, they go all the way through and hold the valve body on them. And you got a couple of short ones. I put new belts on it. Figured we'll make a little video while I'm under here.
then you got two smaller bolts that go right here. Now all I gotta do is get the new filter on it, get some fluid in it, and we'll hopefully that'll take care of the problem on this whole van. Once you get your new gasket on there, take a few bolts and just run around to hold your gasket place where you're trying to get it all up underneath the car, and that'll help hold your gasket. I'm going to start putting her on. Both well, we put her through run mode and everything. It's shifting good. Seems like everything worked out great. So I'm taking that. I think it's forty some dollar piece. Fix that van. So I got off cheap this time. I got to crank it up one more time. Check the fluid. Make sure the fluid is topped off and all that. And. We'll see y'all on the next project.